the last one? The last one was very good. It's good. It's good. Is that Joe Pesci? There goes Joe Pesci. Oh, yeah. Oh, my Lord. I'm glad to hear you're into Soul Seekers and that you taped it because that is a fine, fine yeah, it's production. One of my favorite TV shows. Jacks, yeah, TV shows in general. <laughs> Jared, Jared likes oh it too. Gosh. Okay, well, I'm having a seizure right now, so I gotta go, guys, but thank you. Go right, right down. Good night. <laughs> Put your Bye. tongue between your teeth. And your head between your legs. Never knew what the correct answer to the trivia question was, and neither will you. He didn't care. He didn't know. Nobody even cared. Ask. He wasn't like, so what what is there it? There is no correct what answer. Are, oh, what do we what do we got next? What do we got next? The lettuce is at We have Okay. Did you finish talking about your mold rag? No, I just asked if it would be a product people would be interested in. Everyone just ignored me. So it I'm didn't get no. very far. <laughs> you said you wanted a rag for all the mold that we have in our homes. Yeah, that's called mold rag. The moldiest rag you've ever seen. Yeah. All right. Crossing it off the list. Oh, yeah. Turn that racket off. Doesn't matter that the microphone is up here anyway. I know. I'm aware.
understand why people don't like opera. It's so pretty. It so looks pretty, pretty. Too. to listen to and to hear with your eyes. And next that I haven't crossed off on this list is, uh, well, let's see, we've got Bike In Theater Movie Review. Jake and I were at the last Bike In Theater here at Public Access TV. There's some Bike In Theaters going on here at Public Access TV. Um, there was one last Thursday night at sundown. There's going to be one a week from this Thursday at sundown. It's not every week. We've pushed it to every other week because <laughs> of the lack of enthusiasm that we've received so far. Last well, we're not, we're not going to do any special service tonight, I don't think. <laughs> <laughs> well, don't worry. You're not going to have to see the movie that we're reviewing tonight because it already played. We already went to it. We already went to Bike in Theater here at Public Access last Thursday night. And, well, Brian didn't come, but Jake and I... We watched a little movie, a little movie called Resist Evil, Part 1, Dropping Evil. That's the name of the movie, Resist Evil, Part 1, Dropping Evil. And uh, it was a 90-minute movie. It was made by a couple former uh, UI students who now live probably in foreign lands like Brazil, Mexico, I don't know. But this was a horror movie. I, I think it was a horror comedy. That's what I'm told. I have no proof of that. But I hear it was a horror comedy. And it was 90 minutes long. What did you, fi what did you find about this movie, Jake? What were well, your findings in watching this movie? We're doing, this is called Movie Review. And we're the movie reviewers to review our movies that we saw. Jake? Well, I will say, say that I was enthusiastic at the beginning because I thought it was very funny how the um, the credits at the beginning mm -hmm. didn't fit on the screen. They were yeah, too wide. That Most was funny. of the names were cut off. And you could only see about three letters. Yeah, and it was wasn't... Like, this sounds like my kind of thing. It wasn't a matter of, like, framing it. It wasn't a matter of, like, getting the edges on the screen or anything. The words just weren't there. Most of the words just were not there on the DVD, so you could not read any of the opening credits. None of the names. None of the musicals. You just couldn't read it. Go on. Continue. What happened after that? Well, I began to get quickly... Actually, I was in it. I was in with it for about the first five minutes. Okay. Then I began to become bored, and I found my mind wandering a lot, okay. wondering when was the movie going to be over. Yeah, that's was this the poster a full for it. Movie? That was the poster for the thing we went to. Okay, so after five minutes, you got bored. Then I endured the rest of the movie, and I was confused. I didn't understand the movie either. I didn't understand it, and I wasn't entertained by it. Mm hmm. So. Would you say that's a good review or a bad review? Are you asking me to review my own review? Yeah, tell me how you think that review went. Do you think that that's a review that is going to make people see the movie or not see the movie? I definitely, if I heard my review of that movie, would not go see it. Yeah. What, was, right. what did you think? Well, it's interesting. I mean, my reaction was at first I saw the credits getting cropped out, and I was like, oh, look, it's not even like, too big for the screen. They're just there. There's no there. There's no credits to yeah. s to even play. Yeah. And I was like, well, that's weird, considering that the production value looks pretty good on this thing. And then it started, and me, I was bored right away. Like right away, I was bored. But I was like, well, this is just the very beginning. They're setting it up. It'll get more interesting. And then it was still boring and still boring and boring, boring. And then it, whatever tried to get a little bit interesting, so I was like, okay, I'll give it a chance and see where this so-called plot is going to go. But then it just got worse. Then it just got worse than boring. It was so, 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 so stupid that it made me, I don't know, it made me want to vomit or take a huge crap or something when I was done just to try to get it out of me because I just hated it, hated it, hated it. The guy who wrote that movie used to be my drummer.